know if you can hear me and I'll turn on the camera and let me know if you can see me. We're going to get started here quickly. Michael is here. Fantastic. Will, good to see you. Maria, all the way from Atlanta, Georgia. Michael, my friend. Michael H. is on the call. Joyce. John from Dublin. Happy Friday. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Beautiful day. Rick from Rhode Island. Excellent. Robert, give me a call after this call if you have uh, a few minutes, Robert. Uh, let me see. Uh, the six mile an hour wind. Yeah, we did. Well, I don't know if we actually did get that wind, but. I was actually just looking at average yearly wind speed. So it cal calculates the average wind. The lowest uh, wind uh, in the United States was an average of 4.1 miles per hour. And that was a place in Tennessee. And uh, uh, anyway, that is a very low wind speed. Our average is just over three. So we are a lot slower, and then that's measured way up on the hill. And down here, I'm sure we average about one mile an hour. Uh, let's see. So, yeah, we were looking at a six mile an hour wind, but I don't think it hit. Okay, yesterday I was asking about Etsy bundles involving my warehouse, personalized print tech products. Uh, let me see about Etsy bundles involving bundles in, involving my warehouse. So let's see, you would have a bundle in your warehouse and personalized print tech products. Well, as I was saying, the only bundle that they're going to offer if you want automation is the two 15 ounce mugs. They're going to put that in as its own product. Um, we just manually do the order. If you've got something that's in my warehouse, I mean, you you can sell it. You can uh, arrange with Randy to do the personalization, but it is not going to be automated. They have a number of products. They're automated. We just make sure that anything that takes manual effort is something that we uh, make sure that we're charging enough for it. Let's see. Let's get rolling here. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of fun today. We're going to take a look at um, some mock-ups so that just a, a few tips on how to make the mock-ups look a little bit more realistic. And I will be pulling everything that we're showing for the mock-ups are from the Etsy Hero Mega Pack. So each one that we take a look at, I'll be pulling the mock-ups right from here so that those who have bought the mock-ups, for example, um, I'm pulling one of the designs, which was Alabama. I can't remember which one I used but it's one of the Alabama mock-ups that I'm going to use. Uh, there's Florida, Rotten Auburn. Uh, anyway, they'll all be coming from here. Let me just go through. So I'm going to do a uh, cutting board. I'll do the rectangular. I'll do the how we make it look uh, realistic. Um, of course, we're going to look at two angles of the mock-ups. We're going to look at the flat lay and then also what to do with the lifestyle uh, mock-ups. And then we're going to look at one of the coffee tumblers. And we're going to look at one of the leatherette tumblers for personalization. Uh, this coffee tumbler here. 
and we are we're not going to do the hats we're going to do the cutting board uh we're not going to do the tote bags uh we're going to do one mug so anyway we'll talk more about you know this mega pack here uh towards the end of the call and i will show you we are not pulling all of the designs from here but most of the designs that you hear or that you see on here will be coming from the uh from our design packs and these are included in the etsy hero mega pack or i don't know what we call it but anyway all of the designs that we're using uh like the 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 die hard team name so it'll be die hard alabama girl uh that's found in here most of them are in here um, we could do the realistic jerseys, but I thought it would be fine just to show this one off. And then, of course, well, anyway, uh, which other ones are we pulling? That's another diehard look. The TV sets, these are selling. Little Jerry is doing really well right now in Shroot Farms. Uh, anyway, we're going to pull all uh, from these, mostly from these design packs and definitely from all of the mock-up sets. So I'll just go back up here, and just in case we need to reference this, I'll make sure that the mock-ups are left open. Anyway, let's get rolling, and let's just go through a few. We're going to try and keep them real nice and simple. I'll go through the two masks. I guess this one was already open. I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six seven that we're going to whip through it'll only take us a second because it's very very simple um so we'll go file uh place embedded and i'll just grab um i can just grab this i don't even know what this one is but here's how we make the lifestyle look more realistic first of all I'll just roughly size this uh that's way too large it's not realistic looking that's looking pretty good right there. And I'm just gonna make sure that I've got it centered and looking good. I'm happy with that. Now, one thing that we do is we change the opacity level on this design to match more of the, the exposure level in the background. And it's that's really easy. This is the layer, the design, it's already checked. I just go to opacity and I'll just drag this down until I think that it looks uh, realistic. That looks uh, about right there. It's glowing. And if I just drag that down to about, what was that, about 80%, that looks fine right there. So that's what I would do if you're putting uh, team names or, or uh, whatever. Of course, we have every different color imaginable for the realistic mask look. Uh, let's take a look at the, where do I have the flat lay mask? Yeah, here we go. Okay, so this one, let's just do file, place embedded. And this is the one that we're going to do. Of course, you can do anything and everything that you want. I just drag this in and then I'll just size this one up so that it looks decent. And I'll just center it up. I think that looks good. I mean, we could make it a little bit larger for a more dramatic effect and i'll just hit enter and that's it on this one because everything is super bright and it's flat uh it is going to be a vibrant print uh they're full sublimation so these are a, an all over print on the mask so they're actually printing the the red and the white on this mask and to me it looks good right there we've had great success now if i want to drag it down. I can just use my arrow key and just bring it down. That looks pretty good. Centered top to bottom, left to right. Looks good to me. That one's realistic uh, enough. And that one is going to uh, sell. So that covered the, the mask. We've got that look, uh, the lifestyle look, and the flat lay look. Although we cover all of the different school shoes and glasses and colors and mug sets, I'm just going to show this one because you get the idea. 
Um, I'm going to just quickly go back here to uh, the next one, and it is the rectangular cutting board. And I'll show you a couple of the things that we do. First of all, let's get a design on here. And I'm just using our little PSD there, so, but you'll get the idea. You can do this yourself. Uh, let's put this couple on here. And let me just size this up. And I'll give you a little tip here on getting extra sales. You could put this and you could have some text on here. I'm just going to move them over to the side here. And that's looking pretty good. I'll just hit enter. And then I'm going to do one extra thing. And this is a tip. It'll help you get more sales. Not only can they upload an image, you could also get them to upload uh, their wedding invitation. If they have a picture of that, you could just cut it out. And then you can just throw it in here. So maybe that's a photo of them on their honeymoon. And then this is the uh, wedding invitation. It just adds a little bit of an extra touch to, um, to the image. It's something that most people don't do. Uh, I'm going to move that over a bit. Now, I'm just going to place this on the uh, cutting board. And now we'll take a look at some of the elements. We have a filter put in here that adds the little glass type of a look to this because this is pretty close to what it looks like. Uh, if I wanted to turn those off, I'll just go and turn that off right here. You could just do a, a straight image. Here's one thing that we do. You'll see that we have rounded the corners and I'm gonna show you that feature right here. If you go to the right hand side of this layer in this blank area here and you double click, it's going to bring you up to this one, which is called bevel and emboss. And I'll run through the things and you'll be able to see on the right hand side and the left hand side. Uh, first of all, we use the inner bevel technique is smooth. And let me just drag this out and you'll see there the edge on the left hand side is completely flat. I want to give it some depth. I can give it a little bit. I can give it a lot. I just put that at max. And now uh, the next thing here is uh, the shadow. This side has a shadow. This side has a highlight. And I can adjust that right here if I want a darker shadow on there. But really, that looks pretty good right there. So that's all I'm adjusting is, is the, the softness here and the opacity. And that's just, you just check this here and then click, uh, it's just bevel and emboss. And it just gives a, a rounded edge. Let me throw a, another one on here so that maybe it's a little bit more visible if it's a darker. Uh, let's see, what do I have? What is this one? Oh, yeah, my cousin's crashed airplane. I'm not going to make him a cutting board, but anyway, he crashed right in the parking lot of a grocery store, and he is one spot from the handicapped spot, so he is right at the front door. Anyway, let's close this one off. We'll just save it. Yeah, and now you can see, because you've got the dark lines, you can see that this side here has the highlight, and this side here has the shadow, and that's just under... Uh, bevel and emboss. Very, very simple. It just gives it more of a 3D feel and it's much more realistic. Hey, maybe I will make him this as a cutting board. Uh, let's take a look at the next one. This one's really simple. It's a leatherette tumbler. This one, to make it look realistic, of course, we've got, you know, this, this is not a photorealistic mock-up, but it is still part of the mock-up pack. We never did get these in yet to do the photography. So to me, they still look okay or maybe borderline terrible, uh, you know, compared to things like this. To me on Etsy, this has just sells so much better and it looks so much more personal than this. But this is what we have and this is what we do. Um, all we're going to do is, once again, just file 
place embedded. I'll grab the little baby and then I'm just going to stretch this one out and I'll tell you why this one is so simple. When the engraving is done on here, it's just black. You can almost see it here. They're just removing the tan color and behind it is black. So this is what they're going to get. And that's about as realistic as I make it. This sells really well. If I wanted to tone that down a little bit, go to the right hand side of, of the, the name and just double left click. This is going to open up and I'm just gonna hit color overlay and you'll see how it just changed the color. And now what I'll do is this, click on this little color piece here. And what I'll do is I'll just click anywhere on here to get the basic color. And then all I'm gonna do is just drag this down to make it darker, but you see how I have a little bit of orange in here and I just let it go. And then I just decide how dark I want that to be. See, that's looking pretty realistic now. I think that looks pretty good, okay? And we'll hit OK. And there you go. Um, a nice realistic look, although it's going to be darker when they get it. Eyeballing it, this still looks realistic. Let's take a look at the next thing, which is a mug. This one is going to be really, really simple. And then I'll just go through the questions after because you'll probably have questions and then we can zip through them. Uh, let me just go in here and grab this one and just grab the left corner, drag it down to make the first side look good. Then grab the other corner, drag it down to make the other side look good. And then just drag it up on the 15 ounce. We just go centered. And that's about the look that we go for right there. And it looks, looks real enough. Most people won't know that that is just a simple mock-up. Uh, this this one with the darker, of course, this one is part of uh, the the mock-up pack because you get the backgrounds, you get the uh, it's all included. Anyway, let's grab the the next one. Uh, we did that one. Uh, yeah, we've got a couple more to do here. The maple cutting board, of course, if you have the mega set, it, this you don't have to do anything. All you have to do is just double click file, place embedded, and then you'll just grab your uh, any image in black and it's going to convert it over. But because a lot of you probably don't have the Hero, the Etsy Hero Mega Bundle Pack or whatever it's called, I'll just do it here. If you take your own photos, this is how we make it look realistic. All I'm going to do is just create a, a, a layer here. File, place embedded. I'll grab the baby again, and you'll see that it's in black, and that just does not look very real. I think I'll make this cutting board about that large. That is a big, bold engraving. Anyway, on the right-hand side, once again, just double-click. Go to color overlay, just click on the word. Click on the little eyedropper. And now I find the darkest point on this board, which is right about there. And then once again, I just drag this down so it has the right amount of orange because there's a bit of orange in the engraving. And I just drag it straight down towards the black. And now it's starting to look pretty groovy. And I'd probably go with that and just hit OK. And then you can always see what it looks like before and after. You can see that that looks much more realistic than that. Uh, we can actually go through some of these things here. And of course, we can see the before and after here. It's very flat. There it's got some contoured rounded edges. And let's see. Uh, that one, I don't need to do the before and after. I don't need to do that one. Uh, we did this one here, so you can see not realistic looking, fakey looking, real looking. And, of course, the mask, we didn't add anything except the opacity to make it look real. The next one is a question we get all the time is, how do I make it look so it's more like metal? 
Well, number one, I just, well, I just convert my, my image, just make sure that it's a, a black image or a white image. It doesn't really matter. Uh, let me just grab one here, this snowflake again. And that is just a flat color, and we just picked a, a gray. It's not really going to matter. But you could pick a gray that's somewhat close to the... And you see, this one isn't all that close, but we'll still make it look real. Okay, I'm just going to drag this down. I'm going to drag this down until I'm happy with the, the look. And then I'll position it so it's roughly centered. And I'll hit Enter. And now it looks very flat. And we need to make this thing look more um, metallic, metal looking. Because this entire coffee tumbler is made out of stainless steel. So this is red powder coating. And all they do when they actually engrave this is they're just going to be removing the red and it's going to be showing the silver through. So I just wanted to somewhat match the silver. I see I've got some dark reflections in the middle and I can see that those dark reflections down here, I can see that this is the, the dark area, this is the bright area, just the way the, the sun is hitting it. And I just go over to the right hand side and just double click. And then we go to a gradient overlay. And now we can take a look at this gradient overlay and we can see some of the things that we're going to that we can deal with opacity here uh that looks pretty good you see on the right hand side this is adjusting the opacity um i want to go down to style and select uh, reflected so it's like the sun reflecting on it and already it's looking pretty good scale is how wide you want this to be and now you can see that I've got the light area in the middle and the dark on the edges. I want to reverse that. So I just go up and uncheck reverse. And now I've got these two dark lines on the top coming down here. And now I can just size this. And I'll probably go something like that. It's about that wide. The dark marks on the top. And I just try and line them up with with down here so it's about like that and let's see the opacity you can see when you adjust it that doesn't look real i'd go something like probably like that and now we can see what it looks like when it's flat or when it has the gradients built into it and let me just go and reverse that Sometimes it looks better, even though the light doesn't line up. It still looks more metallic. I actually like the look of that. Let me just take a look here. Ah, that looks okay. Even like that, it just breaks it down so that it's not looking like it's one solid color all the way across, and it actually creates a more metallic look there is very flat there is not flat that looks like metal heavy metal now i'm going to take some questions because i went through everything and before we get into that um we can talk about this one later but i'm going to grab you the link for this I'll just, before I get to the questions, I know some people won't have a lot of time. So anyway, this is the sales page and um, this is a training. It's got six hours of training that take you from the basic training all the way through being uh, um, an expert. Um, we've got all of the, the training on different aspects of working with Photoshop, how to make things look more metallic. We've got a bunch of templates in here. And like I said, these design packs are all included. Uh, the political um, Trump mania, there's two sets of political. And then these, we've had this one right here. Well, a number of these did over a million dollars in sales uh, on this design right here. And then, of course, the Christmas, or Christmas ornament pack, 
all the Father's Day designs. This one is popular. We've been selling a, quite a few of the Fight Cancer design packs, and that will heat up, getting towards closer to October. Then we have the Grandma and Grandpa. This is all about, uh, it has the personalized designs so they can add their grandkids' names and change a grandma nickname. And we've got the Home Is. This one has been really popular. It does well at Christmas. It just has every state with a flag on there. It works well if you're selling masks. It also just works well on t-shirts. Then we've got the gray hat graphics. These are all of the things that aren't necessarily infringing. Uh, they just have funny sayings that are related to a team, a diehard Alabama fan. Uh, then we've got the sports jersey pack. So you can put this on t-shirts or you could put this on a mask and it actually just has the jersey pattern behind it uh, this one is some of these will be irrelevant because cam newton isn't playing for this team uh, anyway mother's day pets we've been doing well with this one uh, professions for police and world's best hairstylist and leggings designs uh, different another sports pack and this one's doing, like I said, really well for us right now. Uh, Shelby Brothers and Little Jerry and Shroot Farm seem to be leading the pack. Then the ugly Christmas designs. If you want to do ugly uh, Christmas masks, these will work quite well. They just have the city name on it so that we're not infringing. And then we just have the, the name of the teams on here. So they're set up, if you want to do ugly masks, I think ugly masks are going to work really well uh, for Halloween and for Christmas. Then we got the mom and dad designs. And for the one that was asking earlier about the faith, this is the full faith set. Anyway, let me go back up here and then I'll take the questions. Anyway, the mock-ups, we'll take a real quick look at the mock-ups. Uh, it has the glass cutting boards in rectangular. And it also has it in round. And then we have the slate uh, uh, display rocks. I don't know what they are. It's made out of slate. It's sublimation. You put photos on there. Flat lay uh, masks in team colors. Flat lay in just lifestyle. So instead of having the team shoes here, which I had in my garage, so I threw them on there. Um, this one will just have flip-flops and different hats and stuff. Lifestyle, one set of lifestyle face, face masks, and then another set that we did in the park. These are really beautiful. The 20-ounce tumblers, and we have them in a just a whole bunch of different shots. And let me just uh, show you what that looks like quickly. You can see there's literally thousands of uh, mock-ups with the professional models and non-professional models. Anyway, I won't even scroll through that because you'll see how many. That was a lifestyle. And then we have these. I love that shot. And then it's just got a whole bunch of different things, different settings, flowers with the old Sherpa or whatever this blanket's called, and the wine and fuzzy warm feeling. This one does really, really well. Flowers on Etsy do very well. Anyway, we've got all of these. And then, of course, we have the non-lifestyle. These are the ones that aren't photorealistic. They're just ones that we created off of our own mock-ups. They look fine. They've got uh, all the different backgrounds. And then the hats, they create the realistic embroidery on here. And they look really, really good. We have them in the red and the black. So if you want to do riding with Biden or Trump train, uh, you can take all of our designs and it'll make the photo realistic look up. We have the standard maple cutting boards and you can change out all the backgrounds. These look really well and have done very well for us. Tote bags and of course, all the video training is here. Thank you cards. If you want to do thank you cards for your customers, we've got this one. Uh, these two, and then we've got one more that we added. White and black mugs. We've done them all in the, the sets. So 11s, 15s, 11 and 15s, white and black. 
We've got the floral set. These have done really well for us. The lifestyle set. And then, of course, we've got the awesome uh, camping mug mock-ups. Whiskey flasks. And there's more being added. Anyway, these are just our best sellers. That's why we're doing these, the 30-ounce, the, the, the wine tumbler. These are just the, the best sellers. And then we also have... Uh, where do we have that? Oh, uh, right down here. We might as well take a look. Uh, we got the, the videos so that you can add product videos because we've made all of the product videos for all of the products. And you can just put the design on here if you like. And what is this? Oh, that was a feedback form. Anyway, that's what it looks like. And of course, before we get into the questions, th this page has a webinar replay if you want more information. Three pay is one ninety nine, two pay is two seventy nine, and the one time, which gives you everything right away instead of the drip feeding, uh, you get it all instantly. It's four ninety seven, and I think that. Uh, he puts worth over 700. I think that it was worth over. This is a typo. This should be worth over seven thousand dollars. We sell them individually. They're all on our stores, <coughs> and the value is about seven thousand. Anyway, let's jump right into the questions because I'm probably way behind. We oh we also have a very active Skype group for this and. You know, we've been involved in a lot of programs, but Etsy is the only program that has given us a 100% success rate with every single person that has bought our product. Anyone that's active, if you buy it and don't do anything with it, it won't do anything. But if you make an effort, we have a 100% success rate. Uh, Michael, oh, what a loser. Go Gators. Look at those colors. Oh, the gators are, that's ugly. Let me see. Oh, the thank you photo. Yeah. I'll just quickly show you. I guess we should take a quick look at this if I can find this one. I'm sure that I can. Uh, let's see. You know, we talked about the power of thank you. And I'll show you exactly what that one, how it works. Uh, open with, uh, whoops, open with Photoshop. We just took a photo of, of this dude holding the, um, holding the sign, and then you can just throw, I don't know what this is. Ugh, get rid of that. You can just throw your thank you note right on here, and I'll just grab like, let's just say that this was a thank you note. Know, you just put it right on here, and then you just save it. And this is literally all we did. And then it ends up looking like... Uh, let me see. It ends up looking like this when we are done. And, of course, you know, very, very simple. You know, I just added my text right here. So if I wanted to, uh, and I keep this as a PSD. So if somebody makes a purchase, all I have to do is just come right here. And if their name was, um, if it was Billy Bob, I just type in Billy Bob. And if it's not uh, Trump, I just have one saved here that's blue and one that's red. And then I would just change it to, if they bought a Biden product, I would just put Biden 2020 and make sure it's in the blue. So we just have this thing open. We just send a thank you message to people who buy. So hopefully that helps. Uh, let me see. I think that we have to given a... Per if you have more questions about the Etsy Hero Mega Monster Mega whatever pack... Go ahead. You can ask whatever you like. I'll try my best to answer. Where's the link to buy? Uh, I did put that in there. Let me just grab that one more time, seeing we're right here. 
like I said, there's a webinar replay here. I'll just put this. I'm not sure if I actually did paste that in there. Uh, let me see. Okay, uh, let me see. Yeah, remember, Michael, there's the three pay, and we're pretty flexible with the packs that we release. So if you make a purchase, just put in a, a support note there, and we'll swap or make sure you get access to the packs you need if you're not paying for the whole thing. Okay, let's see. Okay, we're man, we got a lot of questions. Uh, this is how I do bundles. Okay, we'll definitely dig into that and take a look. The mega pack mock up link, lots are asking for that one. Um, did it not paste that in there? It should be able to, yeah, it's. It's there. It, it is clickable. Yeah, yeah, good, good. Let's go back up here. Um, let's see. On the Printac face mask, uh, we have to make the background. They are all white, really time-consuming. Um, no, for us, it's not any more time-consuming because all I would do is I would just go to my mask mock-up and let's just say, um, let's just do uh, whatever the, the size is. Let's just say that it's, let's just say that this is the, let's say that this is the mask. It's an all over print. So all I have to do is this. I just go uh, edit, fill, done file place embedded and drop this here in and size it up the way it's supposed to be sized drop it into place save it and upload this to print it i don't know it takes like 3.2 seconds you don't have to do a separate background just upload this as the all over print this is what's going to print on the mask right here Like I said, 3.8 seconds. Now we have these beautiful mock-ups. How do we get Printec to print in those colors? Like I said, it's an all-over print on the mask. So whatever you put on here, it's sublimation. They're going to sublimate the mask, and it's going to look just like this. Boom. Okay. Uh, is this part of the previous design bundle? This is us just grouping together a whole bunch of designs. Now, this is all we're using for designs other than personalization. Everything that's in there, we make our sales without a designer just using those existing packs. We've got nothing new, and we're making sales off of those all the time. And let's just see what just sold right now. Ah, Trump snowflake. Removal. Anyway, uh, let me see. So, yeah, it's just a, a group of all of our best-selling designs. They're awesome. They sell great. Joyce, glad to help you out. I'm glad that maybe, you know, this little bit of Photoshop just gives you a little tiny bit of an understanding or a grasp on how to make things look a little bit more realistic. Yeah, and Michael, like I said, we've got no problem getting the, the Christmas stuff in there for you. Uh, are these in PSD editable files? Yeah. Yeah, there's there's lots that are JPEGs and there's lots that are editable PSDs. That's the whole idea. You know, we've got some absolutely amazing... If, if Let me see. Hopefully you guys have enough time. We'll just pretend that you have enough time. And if you don't, I guess you'll just leave because you didn't have enough time. Here's a, a realistic mock-up uh, with the hat. So they're all editable. So all you do is go to where it says artwork here. And you just double click right here. And then all you do is just throw your design in there. 
and I'll just grab one. So just file, place embedded, and let me just go and grab oh, that one. All you do is just place it in here, and then you just click on the X and you hit yes. And look, I just used a flat design, and the magic happens when I click on yes. Boom! It's on the hat. It looks good. It looks really good. Really good. Now, if I wanted to adjust colors, uh, it's no problem. Let's just say that I wanted to get a, a better match on here. I could just say, hey, I'm going to take this color right here. Cool. And then I can just go in here. And then I could just change the color. So I'll just go to, to this and I'm on this one. I guess I should have done that. I just click here and now there it's darker. And if I wanted the, the darker look and just hit yes and boom, it's done. So yeah, they're all editable. Okay. Did you use the light snowflake image in order to change it to gray? I just took the whole image in and just selected a gray color and used the paint bucket thing here. See if you if I actually open this thing up and let me just go to um let me just go to where I actually have that thing sitting so I can show you. Uh, oops, it's right up here. Yeah, so I just took this. And there's only two colors on here. So I just went to this thing here and I just selected a bit of a gray color. Hit OK. And then I just used the paintbrush here. And I just went to the red and changed the red to gray. And then I went and changed the blue to gray and I'm done. Oh, hang on. There's a little tiny bit of blue right there. There, done. Now I'm ready to turn that into a metallic look. Let me see. Where do you source your Christmas decorations? They don't look like Printec. You can find those at Printec for the, the, the snowflake look. And you can find the round ones at Custom Cat. They're very cheap and they sell very well. Are the design packs and mock-up packs, PSDs, videos available separately? No, it's all one big monster pack. $7,000 worth of goodness. Flatline mask, can you change the mask background colors? They, uh, no, they are set up uh, just as photos. We did them as photorealistic, so they're all set up for... All of the team colored masks that Randy offers. So you pretty much do every NCAA team. And the lifestyle ones, they're just done in neutral colors. Michael is speaking like a madman. He has lost his mind. Bite your tongue, gators rule. I think he meant to put in there drool. That would have been a type. I'm sure it was gators drool. Yes. Uh, can I purchase the Christmas and Faith Packs? Yeah, you can just go and buy them at uh, Studio1552.com. You can buy anything individual there if you don't want to buy the Monster Mega Pack. Do you know how to wrap a design? Do you know how to wrap a design on a mug so it looks a little, rounds a little bit? Ah, you could. My question is, do you need to? Uh, let me just go to this. This is flat. Where you run into the problems, actually, let me go to this one. Uh, sorry, this one. Where you run into the problems with most people is this, is by oversizing the image and losing the realistic look. So, for example, a lot of people are going to make it look like this, and that is just going to jump off the page saying, fake. What we try and do is, now, you see this natural white line coming down here? We normally try and stay inside that with uh, with most designs. Let me just do, let me grab another one, because this one has some wings. Let me just do this one. Let me see something that, uh, ah, let's, we're riding with Biden. Okay, so once again, some people do this, screams insanity. Some people will do this, and that just looks flat 
paste it on a mug. If we just scale that thing down, and like I said, you see this natural shadow line? I want to stay inside that. And then see this? Now I just want to keep this one realistic. It should be about the same shadow line. See it coming down here? And then I just want to position this. We've done lots of mugs that are rounded, that have rounded text. This one works for video, and it works for mugs. It works just fine. Would I actually do it that large? I would probably size this down even a little bit more to make it look a little bit more realistic. There, it's nicely centered. It looks good. It's going to sell. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Bunch of shady looking characters. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Because you know we love Alabama. Everybody in Canada loves Alabama. Call us shady characters? Sure. But at least we don't cheer for uh, the Gators. Where in Etsy do you put it? I don't know what it is that I put in Etsy. That I don't know. Sorry, Patsy. You have to give me a full, complete statement if it's got a question mark attached so that I understand what you're talking about. Where in Etsy do you put it? Where is the link to buy? Oh, yeah, put that in there. It's there. Yes, it's there. Uh, you said Printec is free. I've seen it for $9.99 a month. Oh, they have a free 14-day trial, but Locker Stock is totally free. Just go sign up on the link I gave you. Locker Stock is, Printec is totally free. They have an automation feature. If you want people to enter their first name, it'll pick up the personalization field and put it on the design and they'll ship the mug out and you don't have to touch it. You pay for that, but just using Printec, if we do a lot of manual orders, you don't have to pay for the, the Printec $10 a month app. No need. It's up to you if you want to automate it. Okay. Uh, Michael said I was doing a, 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 a most harder way. Yeah. I'm assuming that that's how in making things look a little bit more realistic. Okay. But if doing multi colors, you have to do each color, a color palette like on shirts would simplify things. Multicolor, I'm not sure. Uh, we do a multicolor on the design and we drop it on. It can be photos, it can be anything on, on, on the masks. If I want the photo mock ups without the designs, it's all one big package. It's seven thousand dollars worth. Uh, the mock ups are, uh, I don't know what we have like seven hundred dollars worth of designs, but I'm telling you, we have spent like thousands of dollars paying models and doing countless numbers of retakes and photos and editing so it's all in one place you can go to the mock-up mall and you can buy now that's got some mock-ups it doesn't have all of these yet um anyway the mock-up mall on etsy uh let me see if i can just grab you that one uh, let me just go and grab you this one. If you just want to go and buy separate designs, you're welcome to go and pick them up here. And this one has mug mock-ups and all that stuff too. So I'll paste that in here. If you want to go to our other Etsy store, that's a demo store. We don't mind sharing that one. Okay, let me see. Where is the Printac link that is free? Uh, they're all free. I'll get you the link. And then you can go and sign up. It is totally free. There is the sign up link right here. I'll put this one in for you. And that link will take you and locker stock is totally free. Uh, let me see. Oh man, some people have lost their pea-sized brains. What is it with America? Go dogs? What's that, like Georgia Bulldogs? 
They're losers. Maria, they're losers. You guys, hang on. There's only one person on here besides me that isn't, uh, that is sane. Most of the others on here, you guys have lost your, your minds cheering for these weird teams. Wasn't it David who said uh, roll tide roll? Yeah, the rest, you've lost your minds. I love you anyway, but you've just lost your minds. Printec charges 750. 750. Uh, incomplete statement. Printec charges 750. I don't know what they charge 750 for. Is that the app? Then no, it's free to use Printec. And ten dollars to use the automation. Um, I put the link in. Let me just grab that because I think you can just go. If you're just looking for individual designs, yeah, you can go and pick them up right here. Let me get you the link. So we got lots of people who just want. I don't know why you wouldn't buy just the whole pack, but if you just want to pick these up, and uh, there it is, right there. That'll take you to the. See, David, roll tide, roll. <laughs> He's got it figured out. Uh, Michael cheering for Dallas Cowboys. The guy has gone bonkers. We thought he was crazy. Now we know. Because the only team you should cheer for in the NFL is any team that Tom Brady is playing for. We all know that. <laughs> oh, Michael is saying seven fifty for the ornament. Yeah, I think it's a lot cheaper for the round ones, and I think that they're available at Custom Cat. And now they got the Custom Cat Etsy. Everybody's moving towards Etsy. I'm telling you right now. Do the Biden designs come in any of the packs? No, we don't have any Biden designs. I went and bought some, like I'm showing right here, and these were cheap. I just bought them on Etsy, just like I showed in the training. We don't do a lot of the Biden stuff. Not that I'm against Joe Biden. I think he's a good guy. Uh, Harris, I think she's fine. I don't have a problem with either one of these. I'm Canadian. Who cares? What does it matter if I have a problem with Biden? He's just not on here because we just can't sell any Biden stuff. It just doesn't work very well for us. So let's see. Okay, we got that one straight. Oh, Mike, you are on the money. Texas A&M, the, the Aggies, love them. Love the Aggies, love Roll Tide, love the Sooners, the Buckeyes. Those are the teams that make us the money. That's why we love them. That is why we love them. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ah, once again, I've got no problem with Joe Biden. I mean, if he won by a miracle, knock yourself out. He's Joe Biden. He, he, he's pr probably a good guy. Bottom line is, they all love America. Joe Biden wants the best for America. He's a good guy. No need to hate poor old Joe. I think he's going to, you know, I think he's going to get schooled by Trump. But hey, I'm a Canadian. That's my opinion. That's my guess. Longhorns, oh, Michael, you have that burnt orange. Try and sell something to Longhorns fans. The burnt orange, look at team colors. Anything in rich reds. Why do we love teams like uh, uh, the Sooners, the Buckeyes, Alabama? Why do we love Texas A&M? Because rich, dark colors just sell better. They just sell better. Anything with a rich, dark color in our experience in testing, all of the teams, dark, rich colors, sell the best. Okay, how much editing software? Uh, I'm just using, for videos, I use DaVinci because it's free. And in photos, you can use, uh, everything I showed you today can all be done in Canva. And it's free. So if you buy our stuff and you need training, we got training in, in our members area for Canva, not just for Photoshop. Let's see, the Christmas and Faith Packs. You can't find them. Why can't you find them? Oh. Yeah, you're right. 
hang on design packs ah i'll make a note we'll get those put up on the, the front page here you're right they're missing um let me see rick we will get that for you uh the best selling college is university uh u of m university of what is oh no please don't even tell me that you're thinking about michigan okay i just got in late well the replay will be sent out within four hours uh they're not separate packs in studio 1552 i'll get matthew to upload those dick says it's a proven fact that uh, u of m if that's michigan wolverines i'll tell you right now they suck i don't know why tom brady ever went to school there there's a one aspect of him that i think makes him a bit of an idiot i can't sell wolverine stuff i just can't sell michigan wolverines they just won't buy from me i don't know maybe it's just me i've got a hate for them because they don't buy Every one of my opinions is about money. I love Trump because he makes me money. I love Alabama because they make me money. I don't think Trump loves America any more than Joe Biden does. Oh, Dick says I just lost a sale because I'm bad-mouthing. Well, I'll tell you, I when it comes down to, to, to money, I just say it how it is, you know. We have compiled stats and data um, over the last, I believe it's eight years, we have literally kept track of teams at work and colors at work and states at work, Republican states by way more than uh, Democratic states. Don't hate me for it. I'm just telling you how it works for me. Maybe they can smell the Canada on me and the Wolverines won't buy. Maybe that's it. They're smelling Canada on my sites. I mask it with a U.S. look, but they still smell Canada. Maybe they're the smart ones. They say, I'm not buying from a Canadian. Who knows? Yeah, Alabama is the smart move. It's the smart money. God bless America and God bless Alabama. Anyway, I think we've got it all covered. If you have any more questions, we could talk politics all day long. Whoa, we could talk uh, sports all day long. I love the passion of sports. I love the passion of politics. I absolutely love it because money is attached to passion. So be passionate. Hate me for not doing Biden stuff? That's cool. Hate Trump all you like? It's the passion that makes us the money. Let me see, does a drinkware, drinkware mock-up pack contain mock-ups for the new 15-ounce insulated coffee mug and other tumblers? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, we have got so Let's take a look. I really like this stuff. The stuff that we have in here uh, for mock-ups, let's take a look. Oh, why did it do that? Have I not been logged in for long enough? Now I have to find this. I'm really bad with this. I think I can find it right here. Um, view. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a link for the Skype, and there's support desk here and here. Uh, anyway, mock-ups. And the question was, the 15-ounce insulated... Yeah, we've got the 15-ounce the insulated. I think we just go down to coffee mugs. And those hats are just beautiful. Tote bags. Thank you, cards. Here. Uh, so we've got the black coffee mug mock-ups, white coffee mug mock-ups. Yeah, right here, 15-ounce. So that was from Michael. Yeah, we've got the 15 ounce right here and we've got them in sets. So, you know, these work really well. People love those 15s. We've got a whole bunch in the other set. If you actually go to coffee mug set, 
if you go to the sets, you'll see that we have all kinds of sets here for mixing the 11s and the 15s. And the 11s and the 15s and white and black, these have worked really well for us. They look like this. Boom. I don't know what it is, but this old Sherpa hoodie blanket. Well, it has a zipper. I guess it's a jacket. Um, yeah, Christmas ornament design packs. We do have that. Yes, I'll get Matthew to add that to the members area. Yes. Uh, let me see. Well, Dick, I'll tell you this. That whatever old Nick uh, learned at MSU, he should have forgotten about that. I don't know. Maybe that made him great. I don't know. Maybe that's his great element is that he coached at MSU. Cool. That's totally fine. At least he got it right in the end and went to the right school, the one that makes me the money. Let me see. He's talking about the new Tumblr-style coffee mugs. Well, let's take a look. Yeah, we've got... If it's the coffee... Yeah, we've got PSDs for these. We've got... Oh, that's not the one you're looking, you're looking for. This one here. We've got all of the, the mock-ups for these. We've got everything you could imagine here. And they look like, man, we have done a lot of these. We did the lifestyle with different models. We did all of these. So, and these things look awesome. Like, look at that. It's like some badass stuff. People love these this i don't know what it is about the fur there but uh you're showing a 15 ounce black mug but printac doesn't have one uh these are mock-ups you can easily source them from custom cat or anywhere else uh let me see uh did you cover what we should do to process a personalized glass cutting board customer order uh, it just, if you either manually do your orders with Printec or you pay the 10 bucks and uh, they'll do it. We've got the, the training and we'll try, try to get some of that made public on the YouTube channel as well for training on, on processing a, an order. Let me see. I meant the drinkware pack that is sold separately. No, the tumblers are not in that one. I do not believe that they're in that one at all. Let me see. On the mugs that are laying down, how do you put the image on them? We don't. Uh, oh, you're, you're talking about the, the flat lay? If if you're talking about, uh, let's see if we got that straight. Are you talking about the flat lay? We just drop the image down just like anything else. Anyway, I think that's got it. That was a full hour. I hope that this helped. Uh, I hope that it makes sense. If you need to buy the um, the Etsy Hero Pack and you're short on money, and we tried to do the best we could for one ninety nine on a three pay, and you know if that's still you just don't have that money, just go to um, uh, Studio fifteen fifty two and put in a support ticket. Let me see. Yeah, there is a contact us yeah there's you can put in a support ticket feel free to let us know if you just don't have the cash but you really want this because you want your uh, business to be successful uh, the training is is in my opinion excellent and the feedback is 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 very very positive anyway if you want to buy the the mega pack and you just don't even have the one 199 uh, just put in a support ticket and just let us know what you can do and we'll make sure that you get it. Um, even if you can't afford the 199 that's totally fine. We'll make sure that we still make it uh, workable for you. Okay, anyway, that's it. I think we're all caught up on the questions. You guys are awesome. It was a good time. Um, this was a six-part series on the YouTube channel. We are going to be adding to this playlist, not as a webinar, but two specific training videos, unless we turn them into webinars. 
We're going to show you how to run Facebook ads and YouTube ads to your Etsy store. Etsy has limited, uh, a limited method of scaling. Um, you can only spend so much money. You may want to spend $5,000 a day on your ads. You can't do that on Etsy. So we're going to show you how to scale things up beyond belief on Facebook and YouTube as well. And we'll show you some live case study material there as well. Uh, two separate calls or training videos. We'll let you know when that happens. Uh, but we're going to show you how to scale it up. If you want to spend five grand a day or 10 grand a day because things are going like nuts, which they probably will just before that election, people trying to get their mugs. You may want to scale it up beyond belief. We'll show you how to do that with Facebook and YouTube. Uh, let's see. The training is all, we did the six-part uh, Etsy training. It is all done, finished, complete, and ready to watch. If you go into the members area, I'll just quickly show you where that is located. It is, let me go, there's so much here, but this is exactly what you need right here. It's the webinar replays. It's a six-part series. It is right here. Uh, let me see. Oh, no. It's a hero training. No, that's not it. Webinar replays. Am I not seeing this right? This, this set of videos is a playlist. Use the icon at the top right. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Right here. It, it's very difficult. I don't know why the clown didn't just put six videos in here. I'll get this fixed. That Houghton's a clown. Right now, you'll see that it's uh, video one of six, and you just click on here, and then you can see all six are in here. It's done, finished, ready, and complete. Nothing is undone on the Etsy hero. He's a sheep. Yeah, that's right. If he is here, I'd punch him square in the nose for making something as complicated as this. Anyway, he's got a little description here. I'd punch him. And that bird that keeps squawking in the back every time I call him. Okay. Yeah, you can just go to our YouTube channel. Um, let's see. When, when Etsy Hero Training start? It has started. It is finished. It is complete. If you bought this pack, it's right here. If you want to take in the, the six-part free training, just go to our YouTube channel. And you'll see them all on there. And I can... Well, I don't have the link for that. It's just uh, Studio 1552. Anyway, that's it. We'll let you know when the next calls are happening. Have yourselves a, a great day, a great weekend. Uh, God bless America. God bless Trump, Biden, and the entire rest of the world. And God bless Canada more than the rest of all of you. Anyway, have yourselves a great day. We'll see you on the next call.